Hey guys, it's Jen, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I studied this cool collar. And I think it's great for the winter time or actually any season to revamp any button down that you have. The first thing you're going to be needing is a bag of studs. And I got this bag of 100 studs on a website called studsandspikes.com. And I learned about this website when I was watching the fashion citizen Steph stud her own denim shorts. So I knew that the website would be a reliable one. And this model is called the Tall English 77 Studs. And I believe they were under $10. I don't remember the exact price, but for sure they were under 10 bucks. Second, you're going to need any sort of top blouse that you want to stud. And for today's episode, I'm going to be studying this mint button down that I got at um, a thrift store in Davis. And it was under $5 and I've been wearing it religiously in the fall. But I think I want to kind of spice it up and give it more edge for the winter time. And lastly, you're going to need a butter knife. So when you open up your bag of studs, you're going to see a stud that looks like this. And notice the two prongs on there. The sharpness of the prong is actually going to puncture through any sort of fabric that you want it to. Okay, so now for the fun part, you're going to want to get your stud and shove it inside the fabric. And it should go in pretty smoothly because like I said, those things are pretty sharp. Okay, so extreme close-up time. Uh, one side is already done. so. You're going to want to take your butter knife and you're going to want to push that prong as deep and as far as you possibly can because you don't want these studs to pop off in the washer or the dryer. So make sure it's really secure and it should look something like this. Now that you have the studding technique down, um, just continue to stud away. If you want to just stud the tips of your collar like I did, um, go for it. Just make sure you keep studying until you get the desired shape that you want. If you want to stud your entire collar, or hey, if you want to stud your entire shirt, go for it. It's going to take a lot more than 100 studs, but it's going to look pretty sick and it's going to be pretty heavy. Um, don't be scared to make any mistakes because I don't think it's meant to look perfect. And then 30 or 40 minutes later, you should have something that looks like this. Um, and it kind of looks like a metal bow tie, doesn't it? Well, either way, I think it looks really cool for the season. And so I hope you guys enjoy this really simple and quick tutorial. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.